Common sense is the least common of the senses. My late mother used to say that. And nothing proves this point better than the way some people have behaved during the COVID-19 pandemic. And I don't mean just the Puerto Ricans. Many Americans have favored fiction over facts and the virus situation is now out of control from sea to shining sea. So I decided to invent a device that would help identify these people. You know, those that know that their actions are wrong, but they still act like idiots. We all know who they are. They live among us, in their own little bubbles of self-indulgence. They have mothers, fathers, grandmas and grandpas, but they don't give a damn about them. They're invincible, impervious to infections. So who cares about anybody else? To bring these idiots to the forefront, I invented the Idiotometer. It's a nifty little device that turns red when you're part of the problem and green when you're part of the solution. Simple, right? Local idiots aren't any different from the national variety. They just have a nicer tan. They hit the chinchorros without a mask, gather in large groups within close proximity and even embracing the occasional hug. 14 days later, they hit the ER and the cycle grows and grows. Our island was one of the first places to shut down back in March when this all started. It seemed like our politicians were finally showing some common sense. But it was all a mirage. Now it's all back to normal. Except it's not normal to have a rising curve, hospitals about to collapse, and citizens acting like everything's peachy. Well, it's not peachy. Add to that visitors arriving from many of the nation's COVID-19 hot zones, and the situation gets bleaker by the minute. So here are my ideas for keeping the idiotometer down. If you're sick, stay home. Don't add to the island's misery. And if you're a local, get tested. Puerto Rico's medical facilities are mediocre at best. And if COVID-19 spirals out of control, we're in for some real trouble. Don't go bar hopping or gather in large groups. And wear a mask when you're in public. And it goes without saying that you should wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your face or eyes. In fact, if you can stay home altogether, do it. I know hotels and tourism operators are hurting and that the island's economy is in shambles, but without health, there's no economy. Just try visiting the beach once you're in your grave and you'll see what I mean. And if you're into the internet crowd like I am and you see somebody acting like an idiot, tell the world. Just take a picture and place the idiotometer on one of the corners. Let's all call out these idiots so everyone will know who they are. I'm adding a link to the PNG files in the video description for anyone to use. Playing nice hasn't worked. These people just don't care about you or me. Hell, they don't even care about their own people. So let's flood social media with pictures of idiots. We can do it here and everywhere else in the world. Let's shame them into common sense. Maybe that'll work. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Together, we can spread the message.